So to start, the biggest question everybody's going to have is, should you upgrade? Now, I think the answer depends on your certain situation. As for myself, I went from the first gen to the third gen, so I noticed a significant increase in performance. But I've heard and seen a couple of review videos, if you have the second generation compared to the third, there really, re there really isn't a point in upgrading, but if you have the money and you really want to have the newest uh, model, then go ahead and upgrade. You still, you still won't be disappointed with the upgrade anyways. Now, one of the reasons that I wanted to upgrade was not just because obviously I have the first one and, you know, there's three generations now. I think it's time for an upgrade. It's been a couple of years, but also they have AI upscaling in the second and the third generation. So I was curious to see if that would even change any 720p videos that we have on our Plex server or, you know, if it would make anything look better. And I really wanted this feature to work and maybe it is working, but I just, I really can't tell the difference. So... I can't necessarily say that it does work. I'll show you guys a video running with the 720p Gen 1, and then I'll show you the Gen 3 running the same one. I think it looks the same. Disclaimer, I do think that it looks better on the video than it did like in real life, but you guys can be the judge of that. But I, I don't, I didn't really believe that the AI was working all that well. Although the image did look crisp because it is 4K, uh, yeah, I just, I'm not very sure that it was working. So if that's one of the main reasons, just that's, I don't think it's going to work out for you. But it's still a really good device nonetheless. One of the first things I noticed was the speed test. So I initially went from 105, I'll throw them up, I'll throw it up here anyways. But I went initially from 105 download speed and 66 upload speed to 781 download speed and 352 uh, upload speed, which obviously in just those numbers, it blows the first generation out of the water. The CPU score are also miles better on the third gen compared to the first gen. I'll throw up a chart to show you guys the benchmarks that this guy ran on a uh, article I read. I'll actually have that article linked down below too if you guys want to check it out. But as you guys can see, it has a way better CPU score than just the very first generation. So obviously you're going to get a lot of performance improvements. Now let's show you guys the first gen interface and how the, now, uh, the menu moved around as I was using it. And then we'll go ahead and show you guys the new third generation so you guys can see how snappy and responsive it is in turn. This is what the interface looks like on the gen one. Amazon Fire TV. I mean, it's faster than it normally is, which is good. Pretty slow. Let's just put Dumber because we've already seen it. If I want to scrub through. Play it anywhere. This is gonna be the biggest story to ever hit. Yeah, I mean that's pretty quick for being 4K. Well, actually, it's not 4K because I don't pay for that Netflix, so I don't think it's free. But that's watching one thing. Let's open up a different app and see how quick it opens up the next video. Hmm, of course. 
Hell yeah. The following is intended only. Let's scrub through. For mature audiences. Denji is a beast. Oh, that just took a while to load. Have we scrubbed through? Hell yeah. Go back to Netflix. App we were just on. And it completely closed the app, so... Gotta go through the whole process again. But it's kind of slow, not gonna lie. I'm used to using this interface and this Gen 1 for quite some time now. So I've just grown accustomed to the lagginess. But it is pretty laggy. This is now the interface with the Gen 3 Amazon Fire Cube. So let's go to Plex. Loads up pretty quickly. Let's go to Netflix. Already loaded. Let's go to Hulu. Already opening up within a couple seconds. Navigating the interface is a lot smoother for sure. You know, everything's not choppy. And if we just go, let's go to Netflix. Let's just play Earthstorms. Skim through. Already loaded. Go home. Let's go to Hulu. Let's just play Spy X Family. Already loaded. Already loaded. Some of you guys might be buying this for the gaming capabilities, but I'm not really reviewing those since I don't really ever use my Fire Cube for gaming. So, but from the videos and the reviews I have seen, uh, obviously it's better than the first gen itself. It's just, again, the third gen is just crazy compared to just the first gen. If you're comparing it to the second generation, then I mean, it's not that much faster, but still better. So that about wraps up the video, guys. Again. I can't state this enough. The third generation is amazing. So far, I've been using it for two days. But just how responsive it is, is crazy coming from what I used to deal with. And now it's just better all around. So better internet, uh, faster streaming. What more could I ask for? So if you guys are looking to upgrade, I'll have a link down below. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.